This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we're going to replace a broken screen on a Compact Presario CQ56 laptop. It's a 15.6 inch LED laptop, and there are some tricks to replacing these screens, so we'll go through them. For safety precautions to avoid electrostatic discharge when working with the laptop, I would either wear an electrostatic wrist strap, and if you don't have one of those, I would work with bare feet or just with socks on, but not with shoes on. Uh, the tools that we're going to need today are a pair of sharp metal tweezers, a small electronics screwdriver with a PH0 bit and a PH1 bit, an X-Acto knife blade, I'll show you what to use that for later, and a very small flathead screwdriver, and this is for a trick that's going to make the screen replacement go a lot quicker. Now the problem with these types of HP or compact laptops is that there's some screws that are right behind the screen assembly that are difficult to get to. One here and one here. So in the HP service manual for this laptop, they tell you to take off the keyboard and to take off this whole top part of the of the laptop computer bottom frame to get the hinges and to remove the whole screen assembly with the hinges. I don't like doing that because you're disconnecting a lot of connectors and taking a lot of screws out so there's more potential to damage things. But in order to do it the easier way you have to remove those two screws and that's where this small flathead screwdriver comes in. So the first thing you have to do is to tilt the screen back as much as possible like so and to remove the plastic cover that's covering up that's covering up the screw and for that we need the exact enough blade like here so we remove the plastic cover that's for one side and we're gonna do the exact same thing for this side it's a little bit tricky to reach but we can do it Take your time on this if it doesn't come first. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. You have to reach in with a small flathead screwdriver and remove this screw. Now, if, when you first start turning the screw, you have to use a lot of force and pressure so as not to strip the screw, and then you can go easily. So let's give it a try. Okay didn't come out the first time. Okay, and we did it. We got it to go. And so we're removing it. So now, this time, I almost stripped the screw, but my last push got it out, so here it is. So use quite a bit of force and pressure. Make sure you get a, a good grip. Now, if you do strip the screw, you have to follow the HP procedure and take the whole, most of the laptop apart to get a better access to the screw. So whoever made this laptop in China was feeling good that day, ate their rice and vegetables, and really tightened these screws. But that's okay. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. Oops, drop my screwdriver. Okay, 
Let's see if we can reach it. Okay, and we got it going. Okay, usually these screws are not as tight as on this particular laptop, so it's not going to be as big a struggle. Okay, so we removed the screws now, and next we need to remove the plastic frame around the screen assembly. So the most difficult job was to remove these screws. The second most difficult is to remove this plastic screen assembly. Now, um, there's usually adhesive there, so you have to carefully pry it off. What I like to do is start from the screen side and try to lifting, lifting up in here for the snaps. Once you start hearing the snaps, that's a good sign. That means the plastic frame is coming off. So what's convenient is to turn the laptop up like this and start slowly working around. Now I've done this before, so I'm going a lot faster than you normally would. So take your time on this. Try not to, try not to break it. If you do break it, that's okay. It's happened to me before. And just keep going. Okay, and now we released it here. And the last thing to do is to find the seam on the back of the laptop where the screen meets the back piece of plastic and pry that open. So I use an exacto blade and to get that going, and once you get it going, it's pretty easy like so. Okay, and the plastic frame should come out now, like so. And we have, and where's my camera not focusing? There we go. And we have the screen exposed. So we remove the plastic frame, and now next what we're going to do is remove the screen assembly. The screen itself is held by two, two metal brackets on the side by screws on the side. So you have to get to those screws and they're partially blocked. So what you have to do is be able to tilt the screen a little bit forward to have access to these screws on the side here. So in order to do that, we remove the screws at the top. one. Now I'll keep the separate sets of screws in separate piles so I can keep a track of them for later use. And two. Now we tote the metal brackets forward a little bit. It's still not enough to reach the bottom screws here. So the next trick that we have to learn. Okay, we're having trouble focusing tonight is to loosen these screws at the bottom. So you loosen four of them. You don't take them out all the way. You just loosen them. They'll help the tilt the screen assembly forward so you can reach those side screws. Now when you're putting it back together, don't forget to tighten them. So that's probably the number one thing that I sometimes have to go back for and redo. So make sure you don't forget to tighten them again when you're putting it back together. Okay, so now that it's loose, we can reach this screw at the bottom. What I like to do is use a PH0 bit, the smaller bit, because it's easier to go in and start removing the screws on the side. When you do this, make sure the screen assembly is tilted backward so when the screws are removed, the screen just doesn't pop out. So there's two screws on each side. You remove them one by one. And 
loosen this up a little bit so we can have better access. And remove the bottom screw. And finally, remove the top screw. Okay, now the screen assembly should be free of the metal brackets. Next thing is to tilt the screen assembly forward. And sometimes there's wires on the back, so we'll look to see what's going on here. Look, okay, there's some there's some tape that was adhering to the back. Okay, and we've tilted it forward. Now, some of these laptops have a webcam here. This one, particular one, doesn't. And there's a cable going down the middle. And sometimes this cable also sticks to the back of the screen. So you got to make sure, be careful with that, and don't damage the cable. Just kind of pry the cable off. Now, there's only one connector on this LED screen, so we have to remove this one connector. It has some adhesive tape securing the back. So first, you remove the adhesive tape. Go slowly with this. This connector is delicate. It can easily be damaged. And once you remove the adhesive tape, and if you don't feel any adhesive on the back of the video cable, just start pulling backwards and the connector is released. So let's take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. The connector is on down here as with 99% of these screens. This is the most popular screen type for laptop computers as of early 2011 so you should not have any trouble finding a screen so you can either do a search for a 15.6 inch LED screen on either eBay or Google make sure that the finish is glossy if you have one before or matte if you had a matte screen before for this particular screen let's see if we can get a good focus the number is LP156 WH2. So you can also search by this part number and you'll get the results. Uh, most likely you'll get a compatible screen, not this exact part number, but that's okay. There are several companies that make the exact same screen, so you should be fine. Now to put the laptop back together, you just reverse the procedure, connect it, and put the screen back in, and put the plastic frame back in, and the screws and you should be done. So um, that's it, and um, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeonsgood.com. www.screensurgeons.com. Uh, thank you very much, and good luck.